Hiya folks, Antar1011 back with a new black and white battle. My opponent today is a guy from Smogon who is known as Drake. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, I hope you like the background. It's called the beach, I guess. Um, I don't know. Capitonic came up with it. Or it's just in the game. Anyway, I lead off with my Rotom uh, Heat Form. Go for the overheat against his Machamp, thinking that uh, I'm just really hoping that this can take it out. Because Machamp is a huge threat to any team I have. Uh, I just hate it so much. No guard Machamp is annoying as anything. But I managed to take it out in one hit, so I am happy. Uh, he sends out his Latios, and I'm going to go ahead and call back Tachikoma and send out my Cosmic F, basically as Death Fodder. Um, Cosmic F is my uh, Hitmontop, who is severely undervalued on my team. Uh, it really is a pretty awesome Pokemon, but anyway, um, it survives the Draco Meteor, which is really impressive. I am very impressed by that. Uh, but anyway, the second Draco Meteor is, of course, going to kill it. Um, and that's it for Cosmic F. So, um, too bad there. Um, but what this means is that I'll be able to get in a safe switch and to puff my Magic Dragonite, um, who lives by the sea, and scares out that Latios, um, and, and he switches in his, um, whatchamacallit, Vaporeon, but I'm pretty sure I can take one, um, Ice Beam, considering my multi-scale isn't broken. But interestingly, he switches out, and I'm like, well, that's really strange. Why would you do the double switch there? Um, maybe predicting my switch? Uh, I go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw at plus one. Uh, it doesn't do very much uh, against his Steel Bill, um, but, you know, I do carry the Fire Punch, super effective and whatnot, and I'm going to be able to kill it with the second hit. So that's awesome, and I've got a little Dragonite sweep going. Um, oh, Dragonite looks so happy. Anyway, out comes Latios, and there's two scenarios. One, uh, he specs, in which case I'm faster. The second, which is the case, is that he's scarfed, in which case I should be able to survive this hit, and I do with 100 HP. That is badass. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the super effective Dragon Claw, which is going to be easily enough at plus one to take out his Latios, and my Dragonite is doing work. Um, so, anyway, now he sends out his Gengar called Hit Me Noob, and so I say, okay, why not? Um, I figure maybe it's a Focus Sash set, but I can't figure out why, you know, he'd be goading his opponent like that. But anyway, I kill it, so it's all good. Anyway, let, um, Vaporeon is back out. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw here, um, which, interestingly, is not going to kill it. So had he stayed in with that, uh... Um, Vaporeon, it might have been uh, to his, in his best interest. Anyway, I survived with 37 HP from that, uh, of that sur of that surf I survived, 37 HP. Turns out he wasn't running the Ice Beam. Um, only Vaporeon I've ever seen not to run an Ice Beam, but it works out in my favor. Uh, second Dragon Claw is enough to kill it, and uh, now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Caesar. So I know that Bullet Punch is coming, um, but I don't, e Extreme Speed isn't going to do anything, I didn't want to overpredict. So now I go into um, Rotom Heat Form, um, I don't care how much Bullet Punch um, does, you know, it's not going to do anything, and Overheat is going to guilt deliver the final KO of the battle. So um, that was an excellent short little battle. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm just counting down the seconds until the game catches up with uh, me. So that's it. So long, folks.